This time we're going to make a mobile app. Yep, you heard it right. Hey, what's up guys? Vel here from Pitchground. Now, if you're a company, you probably have a website, but you probably have already thought about building yourself a mobile app. And it's not just something like a passing fad or a mark of status. A mobile app could be a better tool to help bring in more clients than a website. According to the latest research, mobile users spend 86% of their time on mobile apps and just 14% of their time on mobile websites. Why is that? First, well-designed mobile apps are much faster and more stable. They usually store their data locally on mobile devices in contrast to websites that generally use a web service. For this reason, Data retrieval happens much faster in mobile apps. Furthermore, generally they provide a better user experience than websites do. But if you're a startup, you probably have built your website on your own using one of those web-based platforms. And when it comes to building a mobile app, it's very unlikely that you have any serious developing skills. That's where Swinto app is coming to save you. Let's see how it works. All right, when you log in for the first time, you'll start right from the editor. You type in the ID and the name, select the icon for your app, and yeah, make sure you have allowed pop-ups. Tweak it. And you can see the preview here on the left. Now let's set the splash screen and move on. Right, here you can select the menu type as well as skin for your app, customize it, set background image, etc. And here is the most important part where you create a menu. You can use an existing one, but I'll just go ahead and create a simple menu from scratch. So we'll create a product tab and a chat. Okay, let's add a category, select it and click here on the product category. Now let's name it and go to the link wizard. Let's keep it simple, I don't want to go deep with that, so let's just leave it as it is for now and see what it looks like. Apply, save and you can see now the tab is active and working. Let's create a chat now. So you want to repeat step one, but this time create Swing to app page and here in the wizard, you want to select an admin chat. Okay, now you can see it's working. Now, once we are happy with it, we'll just go ahead and request an app creation. This will take around five minutes. There you go. You can now see a preview on your browser or you can scan the QR code and preview the app on your mobile. When you are ready, you can upload your app to the App Store, Play Store or even download an APK file for Android. Now, Swindu app has a wide range of features. For example, you can do a page mapping or select from templates, use an HTML editor. But what's really great about this tool is that you don't need to have developing skills. Just play around with it and I'm sure you're gonna love it. That's it for today, keep safe and stay tuned!